Hello, and welcome to this tutorial series for Win Automation. In this video, we will go through the Win Automation console and how you can create a process and manage its execution. The console is the central component of Win Automation, where you can control your automated processes and their settings. At the top of the window, you can see which edition of Win Automation you are currently using. In this tutorial, we are using the Professional Plus edition. Upon startup, the console begins with the Processes tab. On the left-hand side, you can see the list of folders, each containing the developed processes. By right-clicking on the Folders pane, a folder can be created, cut, copied, pasted, or deleted. The biggest pane of the Processes tab contains a list with the processes contained in the highlighted folder. Here you will find information about the name of the process, its current status, if it has any triggers or schedules attached, as well as additional information about the last execution. You have the option to edit a process either by clicking on Process Designer on the ribbon or by right-clicking on a process. Also, you can change the process properties, cut, copy, paste, rename, or delete, and select all the processes of a folder. Moreover, you can enable or disable a process. Note that disabled processes will not be executed even if they have a trigger or schedule attached to them. A disabled process will be grayed out, while a process within an error icon means that it contains errors in its code, therefore it cannot be executed until corrected. You can also add or show the schedules and triggers related to the process, as well as review the logs of the respective process. You can also export a process or generate an executable from it. Exported processes can be shared and imported to other Win Automation installations. In the next tab, Triggers or Schedules, you can set how to invoke the execution of the process with or without user interference by creating or editing the triggers or schedules. We will review these two tabs in greater detail in a future tutorial video. These are the first three tabs of the console, from which you are able to create and run processes as well as manage their execution. In the next video, the remaining tabs will be covered discussing the general monitoring and handling of the Win Automation installation.